Hello, I'm the Binto Buster in Japan, and this is how you make a pineapple shaped om rice bento. Om rice is a very popular dish here in Japan, and basically it's a sheet of egg on top of some rice, forming an omelette. So to start off, let's start making the sheets of egg. In a bowl, whisk three eggs well, then strain the mixture. Yep, strain it. Then pour half of that mixture into a fry pan. Cook over low heat, and if any bubbles appear, give them a poke with a chopstick. You only want to cook the bottom, so when it starts to firm up, it's done. So take it out and repeat the process. Okay, and now we have two rectangular sheets of egg, so now it's time to trim the edges. And as you can see, the top surface looks sensational, so that's going to be the outer surface of our om rice. Oh, and here's a wee note. Although the top surface is cooked, it's still moist and pliable, and that's important when making this om rice. If the egg is too dry, it might rip, so wait till the rice, don't overcook it. The next step is to cut the egg like so into equally sized strips. Okay, now it's time to break out a large sheet of plastic wrap. And on top of the plastic wrap, I'm going to start weaving the egg pieces together. And how do you weave it? Well, you do it like this. You pull a few back and you thread one in, and just repeat that process. And pretty soon you'll have a nicely woven egg mat. Now don't rush it, because if you do, you might tear a piece of egg. And that's why you want your strips of egg to be nice and flexible. Once you've assembled your woven mat of egg, it's time to place a slice of cheese on top. And on top of that, place a handful of flavoured rice like so. Now don't be shy, get in there with your hands and shape the rice like this, and place it on top just like that. If you have time, you can make the rice from scratch, but if you're in a hurry, straight from my packet is fine. Now carefully lift the plastic wrap along with its contents like so, and seal it up by giving it a wee twist, then start to shape it so it looks like a pineapple. Now to some people who aren't in the know, they'll say, hey, that's a mango. But listen guys, it's a pineapple, okay? It's a pineapple. And some of you might also say that it looks like a Japanese melon pun. But hey, keep that to yourself because I'm telling you, it's a pineapple. And there we have it, a little om rice package. Okay, now it's time to unpack my om rice package into my better box and make it look more like a pineapple and less like a mango or melon pan. Now that the om rice is in place, there's still a fair bit of space there, so I'm going to fill that up with some pasta. And on top of that, to form the top of the pineapple, I'm going to place some strategically cut snap peas. I gave them a quick boil and they are delicious. Okay, so far so good, everything seems to be holding in place. Now if you know anything about om rice, you know that there's usually a ton of ketchup on top. Now of course I won't be using that much because that would ruin it. I'm just going to place a few dots here and there to give it some detail. And when you're finished, it should look something like this. Da -da 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 -da. And on rice, it looks like a... Mm, no, a pineapple. Yep, that's right, it looks like a beautiful cartoon style kind of pineapple thing. This is the perfect type of cutter band bento that would wow people who are really into pineapples. And that's how you make an om rice bento that looks like a pineapple. Oh yes, and what does it taste like? Well, it tastes like om rice. Thank you for watching, and for more content like this, please like and follow.